Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to all of you for joining us via our live stream sponsored by the Canada Media Fund. I'd like to take a moment to thank both of our grand patron sponsors, the Canada Media Fund, who is also our lunch sponsor, and Netflix. I'd also like to acknowledge the support of our patron sponsor and lead government partner, Telefilm Canada. Thanks to our platinum level sponsors, Eagle Vision and Sim, as well as gold level sponsors, Bell Fund, Bell Media, Entertainment One, Shaftesbury, and Spin Master. Before hearing from the minister, we wanted to take a few moments to commemorate the life of a dear friend and colleague to many of you in the room. On Monday, following a battle with brain cancer, Jay Switzer passed away at the too young age of 61. Jay was an icon. That much is clear. Just last month, he received the Order of Canada, the highest civilian honor for his contributions to our industry. His career accomplishments speak for themselves, but was was truly remarkable about Jay was just how much he passionately and authentically believed in the power of Canadian content. I can't think of a greater and more earnest champion for this industry, and he is going to be greatly missed. I'd like to now invite Catherine Tate to the stage to say a few words. As most of you know, Catherine partnered with Jay to found Hollywood Suite, one of Jay's many successful enterprises. This is very difficult, <laughs> so I have many friends around to help. Um, so I'm honored to be here today, and I thank the Minister Jolie for joining me in this salute to one of our industry's finest, Jay Switzer. As Scott said, Jay passed away earlier this week after a short and ferocious illness. There have been many well-deserved tributes in the press and in social media to Jay and his extraordinary contribution to the Canadian film and television industry. He has been described as a mensch, as kind, selfless, and generous. I really should have these glasses on, I'm sorry. Um, as an outstanding mentor, as a great leader, as a devoted husband, brother, son, son-in-law, and as a loyal friend. Jay was all of those things. For those of us who had the good fortune of working closely with him, the old chum gang, many of you are here, his travel pals in Vegas, I know one is here, um, and the team at Hollywood Suite, David Kynes, Jeff Sackman, Ellen Bain, and Denise Cooper, who's also here. We witnessed firsthand every day his unwavering passion for Canadian television. Jay was the rare broadcaster who looked for opportunities to meet Canadian content obligations. Not because he had to, but because he truly loved creators and the creative process. His dear wife, Ellen Dubin, knows this better than anyone. Over his 30-year career, Jay helped bring hundreds of hours of Canadian programming and Canadian feature films to the screen. He was an incredibly generous uh, buyer, hands-off and respectful, and a risk-taker. He truly believed that artists, filmmakers, and producers knew best. He stood back and let us do the work, and then he delighted in the results. At Hollywood Suite, one of Jay's proudest moments in the last year was our record of licensing more, than, more Canadian feature films than any other of the big broadcasters in the country. In an industry where clubby cronyism has been the norm, Jay was gender, race, religion, sexual orientation neutral, long before it was fashionable or a requirement. 
He spotted and supported talent. He stuck his neck out for talent, regardless of sex or background. So the silver lining in this tragic passing is that Jay is still with us. For those who knew him, his goodness and loyalty remain an example embedded in our hearts forever. So please join me in a salute to the unforgettable Jay Switzer. <laughs>